let's talk about the test for the nitrate ions. Now, there is no direct way to test for nitrate ions, and it's one of the more complex tests. So let's get started. Here's a sample of unknown sample, but it contains nitrate ions, which we're going to prove are there today. The first thing that you need to do is you need to add some sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide goes into the mixture first. And this sodium hydroxide, in combination with some aluminium, causes that nitrate group to get reduced. Now, when it gets reduced, what it produces is it produces, that might be a little bit too much, <laughs> it produces uh, ammonia. Now, what I'm going to do is the third step. So, step one, sodium hydroxide. Step two, add aluminium. Step three, I'm going to heat it gently in a water bath. Now, the test for this is I'm going to test for the ammonia gas that should be generated from this reaction if it was a nitrate to start with. So I'm going to put some damp blue litmus paper, which is my test. Oh no, wrong one. I'm going to put some damp red litmus paper, because that's the one I need for my test for ammonia gas, remember. And I'm going to tuck that into the top of my container here. Now what you can see is already I'm starting to get the blue sign, which suggests that ammonia is being generated in this solution and therefore that there must have been nitrates there to start with. So four steps. Add the sodium hydroxide. Add the aluminium. Then what you're going to do is you're going to test for ammonia gas by testing the gas with damp red litmus paper. If it turns blue, then that means that ammonia is present and therefore the nitrate was there to start with. 